want to show you a, a working example on how you can get started to build your first Microsoft Teams app using the Microsoft Graph Toolkit, but also the Microsoft Teams Toolkit. So first, I wanted to start with kind of what is the Graph Toolkit for the ones that are new to the toolkit. So the Graph Toolkit is a collection of web components. So here, web components is important, um, which uh, are all powered by the Microsoft Graph. They are not, they are functional components. So you drag them onto your, on any HTML page and automatically magic happens uh, powered by the graph. It's not like uh, you have to bind them to data whatsoever. It's all built into the web components. The components are functional working uh, automatically with Microsoft Graph and they work with any web framework. So if you are, today I'm going to do the demo uh, utilizing plain JavaScript and HTML, actually just plain HTML, not even JavaScript. Um, but you can actually make it happen in Vue and Angular. We have wrappers for React. So it's it's really functional in any type of uh, client-side framework that you would like to use. And it works on all, uh, all the modern browsers. Um, they're beautiful. They're very flexible. We won't go into that today, but it's it's great because you can actually customize them to uh, really bring your own your own styling in there or your own uh, ways of working with components, and it works just everywhere. Um, there is a bunch of components today. We will be using the login component, the person, the piece, the person card, uh, the people, the people picker, the agenda and to do. So basically in a seven minute demo, we're gonna cover seven of those components quite rapidly. Um, and you're gonna see how easy it is to actually bring uh, into this. First, how do you get started? Well, the easiest way to get started with the Microsoft Graph uh, Toolkit is just to use this simple script reference to what we call the MGT loader. The loader will just make sure it loads all the necessary JavaScript file in any HTML page. And then afterwards, the only thing you have to do is to go here and add what we call providers. Because the Microsoft Graph Toolkit is graph powered, we need to give it a little bit of a context of what is the app that we will be using um, and what are some of the uh, redirect URL that we wanna use. Also, we wanna talk about the scope. So, the sample we're going to do today, use today, uses a bunch of different permissions on the graph, but here you can really just scope to whatever you want to do inside your app. Once this is done, so once you have your first loader reference and you have the providers that are in there, and here uh, notice that we have two providers, one for MSAL, which is the one that will actually do some of the work when you're running as a SPA, the single page application, and one which is Teams that will do some work when you are embedded in Teams. The beauty here is that it understands the context of where you are and will automatically do the right work for you. And afterwards, you just drop in to your HTML these kind of components. And here you notice it's MGT-login, MGT-agenda, and all of those are basically now that you loaded MGT, they become magically native components you can use in HTML. So you don't need to have any other framework whatsoever. You can just drop these in any page and magic will happen. So what I suggest is why don't we just go and have a look at a solution that um, we already built earlier that actually runs that. So let me go here. Let me close that for now. Let me zoom in just a little bit. And let's start with our index.html, which is our page. So basically, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, what I did to create this, I went on Microsoft Teams here, and I hit create a new Teams app. This is the Microsoft Teams toolkit that helps you scaffold an app really, really, really rapidly and will enable you later to also play around with the manifest to install the app in Teams and all these kind of things. So basically, the Teams Toolkit is just kind of a, a, um, an, accelerator, an accelerated way to get your app inside Microsoft Teams. But there's no real magic around the toolkit. You just focus on your code. So let's focus on our, on our code here. So the first thing you're going you're gonna to see is both of these integrations here. The first one, we are adding the Microsoft Teams SDK from its CDN. Why? Because we will need to understand, hey, we are in Teams, so we need to have the JavaScript 
um, SDK uh, hooked into our page so we know that we are working in Teams. Then afterwards, we will be adding the Microsoft Graph Toolkit in there. Here you see that we're using MGT at next. So basically here we are running on the uh, release candidates of MGT version two, which is very, very close to be, uh, to be shipped, uh, which should be uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, Beth promised it. So let's all hope that she uh, and the team uh, will do it. And if not, we can wait for Monday. Nobody will die if anything happens. But, but the work you've been doing, and I'm going to show you today, is amazing. Why? Because it makes everything so simple. First thing, um, you just have to put in your Teams provider and MSAL provider. These are requesting a client ID, a list of scopes, and in that case, a redirect URL or an auth URL. Teams works with a different approach to authentication, so we need to provide a page just for that. And then, the rest of the page is basically just HTML. Here we, or I'm using here the grid from React, from uh, yeah, from uh, the UI fabric, uh, or Fluent UI, or North Star, or Stardust, depending on who, when when you started to use it. And here you will see all of these different grids. But here's the most important part: MGT login. Very simple. Actually, I could even do this to make it even simpler. Don't need that. MGT login, then afterwards, MGT agenda, then afterwards, MGT to do, and then finally, MGT people picker. That's it. You just need to put them on a page. When you're ready, you can go to the terminal and say npm start. It's going to start automatically on your machine a local host that will be used to run this sample. So let me show you quickly. Here I'm going to open this. I can go to local o, local local host 3000. And I want to go to the host page. I'm going to go to here. And now I have an empty page. Why? Because I'm not logged in. So as you can see, we have four components. You see here the sign-in component right there on top of the uh, on left. I this here. Let's go with this. Um, this one is that sign in. I have my agenda that is empty. My tasks are empty and people probably won't work because I'm not connected. I'm just going to sign in. I'm going to say that I am that user. And the first thing you're going to see is a consent screen saying, hey, by the way, you're using an app that will require all of these permissions. So either you say accept or you don't want and you hit cancel and you won't be able to use the app. Or if you're an admin, you can also consent for all the users on behalf of the organization. So basically, just the admins would see the screen. Um, depends uh, on what's your, um, what's your approach to uh, consent. I, I, I love to show this screen to everybody so it's, it's clear and transparent. I hit accept. I'm being redirected. And now automatically, I just called the graph. Look how amazing is this. Here, um, I have all my agenda items that are coming from my uh, calendar, all my tasks, and I can even add some tasks in here. Uh, I can search for people. I can complete tasks. It's going to automatically go to the graph and mark this task as completed. I can search for Megan right from here. And one of the cool things, which is one of the new features that we have in MGT, which is when I hover on Megan, I actually have that. And I will, yes, I want to see all these uh, permissions for this user. I will be to see here all of these things. So who is uh, Megan reporting to? What are the emails I have with her? Um, her contact info, her full uh, org chart here, the emails um, about her, uh, her, all built into the toolkit. You don't have to do anything. Users just need to consent to it. So it's great, but this is not in Teams. If I go to Teams, automatically I go here. Let me make sure I'm not in here so we can actually see the effect. Um, I can go here and click on PNP demo. When I was in Teams, uh, in uh, sorry, in, uh, in code, I was able to go in here and actually open the Microsoft Graph Toolkit and just say App Studio. It's going to ask me to log in. Give me a second. I'm going to log into the right environment. I'm going to go here. I'll just log in with my account and automatically Visual Studio will be connected to my environment. I should be able to go back here. 
And now I can actually, and I'm just going to zoom out because it looks like it's not great. And here I was able to go on test and distribute and hit install. So this brought the app right in there. There's no configuration. Everything is done for you. All this app is done by default. All the, the URLs, everything is taken care of uh, by the toolkit. So you don't have to play around. And then when you go back here and you go back to Teams and you open the PNP demo, well, automatically here, what is going to happen is the exact same thing will be happening. So here I have the exact same content where I can see my agenda, my task, and I can, again, search for Megan. Um, well, with, when I'm not typing the wrong thing. And here I have all of this. So quite easy to bring that super powerful, cap these super powerful capabilities with basically this line of code here, this line of code here, and this line of code here. Um, so I wanted to kind of introduce you to uh, the toolkit like this. With the Microsoft Teams toolkit, it's super easy because you get that page that you need. You just put that in there and you are kind of good to go for this. So a couple of resources for you if you want to learn more about um, some of uh, the things around the Microsoft Graph toolkit. And Bert, I turn it over to you. Thank you, Seb. Super, super cool demo. I really like the fact that you can combine the, the easiness uh, of the graph toolkit with Teams. Uh, also, the people card, that's kind of amazing what it shows. So it's like, like the in-product features, exactly the same almost. So really, really nice. Mm -hmm.